Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Got a beer. Look at that, can you see? Yep. It's not great, like, but it is a black and tan. Very much. I haven't done one of these in a while. Just say what the hey. Um I've only got two kegs. I only have two kegs left. I know that sounds like just, as it came out of my mouth I realised just how ridiculous that sounded. Usually have at least three kegs on top. But I'm only down to two now because unfortunately the turbocharger has now sailed off in the sunset, so goodbye turbocharger. You were good for like the two weeks or whatever it was you were in the keg. It must have been good because it's drunk, I drunk it all in no time, so it will be rebrewed, but as I said last week, as an APA, big old body on it. More hops. Everything could use more hops. So yeah, I'd only I've only two kegs left. <clears throat> so what we've got then on the bottom is an American stout. I don't want to say too much about it now because there's a grain of the glass coming on this next week probably. On the top one then is uh, New Zealand Pilsner. That's the one that's been up there for must be 90 days. It must be properly lagered by now. So the reason for doing that was just because the stout is only just in the keg through the week. Uh, that was a, a task. Only just put the keg in the stout. Still a bit better. It's an American stout, so it's been it's hopped. It's well hopped. Let's just say that. So uh, yeah, it's not quite ready yet for human consumption. Sounds terrible. But uh, yeah, it's not quite ready yet. So I want to. I just thought, you know what? I'll just top up, top, put the top on with uh, the New Zealand Pilsners up there. So that's what I've done. So yeah, it. Um, I said I didn't want to go into too much detail, but I don't really have anything else to talk about, to be honest. I'm only out here for a beer and, you know, just to shoot the shit for like 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Okay, I had to take a video of this. This is the American Stout. I'm putting it into the keg. This is like the slowest, slowest transfer ever. It was sitting at about 21 litres. It's been about 25 minutes now. And that is... Not even seven liters left. What is going on? It's obviously blocked in some way. Or it wasn't just hops; it was like all the crap. Because <clears throat> I think I pitched on to use cake if I remember. And I think it's just it must be like thick, full of like shrub, the bottom of it. That's why it took so long. So as I say, it's still in here. I haven't actually done anything with it yet. I was going to um, get it all cleaned out and all for a brew day. Which is planned this week because I'm obviously, you know, I'm, only, I'm down to only two kegs now. Two full kegs. Fuck me. I'm going to be doing a brew, putting the brew on next week, and then we've got the Jim Payne Memorial Brew Day, which is on the 16th. So that is a couple of weeks away. So I can get another two in anyway. So um, yeah, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I am worried. Seriously, I've only got two kegs left. Did I mention it? So yeah, not really too much has been happening. Um, I have got my other beer in the other fridge here. It is just, it's, I'm getting ready to do the dry hop basically. And then it should be in the keg next weekend, which will then fill, free up the fridge. Um, and yeah, we'll be ready to go again. Yeah, so I sacked off the brew day today. But it gave me time to get in here cleaned up. Because um, as you can see, there's stuff like just laying everywhere at the back. Um, I managed to get down there, which is the worst bit. Sort of tidy, spring clean. It is like you know, the start of spring, I suppose, officially. So uh, yeah, that's that's um, that's very useful. I might actually get the floor painted in here as well at some point over the summer. Um, painting the floor in here was the best thing I ever did. I always had issues with dust and stuff like that. See since I painted the floor, nothing at all. It's fantastic. If anyone has conc bare concrete floors and you're pissed off with the dust, seriously, just paint the floors because it works a treat and it's not that expensive like, for a tin of floor paint. It's like 20 quid or something like that, which may seem like a lot, but it's really not in the grand scheme of things. We're talking about floor paint now. This is bad. So yeah, I managed to get um, time to do that today. Just left the kids inside, just watching YouTube. 
all them bloody YouTube videos. They don't. I don't think this, they came across Momo yet. Um, if Momo even exists, uh, yeah, I, I, that's another thing. Like it's just the whole Momo thing. It's just it that just smacks to me of absolute bollocks. I think the technical term is absolute bollocks. It's just like it doesn't exist. And if it does exist, it's probably one video that someone's done for a joke. And you know, rightly, half a you know, a thousand people are trying to do Momo videos now just because of it, just for a laugh. But yeah, it's it's kind of it's the whole moral panic thing, isn't it? It's it's a bit like the nineteen the nineteen eighties. Remember the whole heavy metal thing? Heavy metal is like the the work of the devil. And, you know, backmasking and all that bullshit. It's just absolute. And you know at the time, everyone knew it was absolute bollocks. But the people just don't. For some reason, they just don't. People don't see sense. I mean, I hear people talking about this Momo thing. And they're always talking about. And I ask them. And anytime anyone mentions it to me, I said, um, have you seen the video? They no. But I know someone who has seen the videos. But you know, rightly, it's like, no, they haven't. They haven't seen the videos. They have been told by someone else about the video. And they they have been told by someone else, by someone else, by someone else. And there is no fucking video. The video's all, it's a bloody hoax. Of course it is. But yeah, it's a lot of nonsense. It's just really parents. Not, um, not, um, keeping an eye on what their children are watching on YouTube. And I don't know why I was out here and they were in there watching God knows what on YouTube. Super Mario Kart, that's what it was. They watch Mario videos all the time. Um, rather than actual... I, actually, I said to them one time, do you want to play? Do you want me to get Super Mario for you and you can play it? No, we just like watching the videos, I said. So, what's all, the kids of today, they're ruined. I think we may have to just abandon them this generation and just move on to the next one, so... Sorry, I had to go out there and check because there's there was a noise out there. All I could hear was help, help, and it was like a cow, but it was making that weird kind of noise that sounded like help. I did think it was Momo for uh, actual uh, for a few seconds, but it's the strangest thing ever. A cow just going help, help. Okay, what is the point of me making this video? It was just because I I'd made it like a black and tan, and as I, said, I hadn't made one I am in donkey's ages since we. Used to do the old Effort Friday videos. I should I should probably do another one of them. Not like every week like it used to be. Because it got to the stage where it was just getting too big. And I can't I kinda of felt obliged to keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it for as far as I could go. And it just got to the point of like, you know, a tipping point. Or you, you know, I would need to hire a helicopter in order to get the beer to pour into the glass or a hot air balloon or something. Um, so yeah, it got a wee bit, a little bit out of control, let's be honest. But yeah, I might do, it might be good fun because I always liked them. It's, it is good fun. I mean, I used to laugh the piece out when I was at it in those videos. It, it, the weird thing was, it's not. It wasn't always that funny at the time, but then when you get in the edit and you start watching it back, it does get funny then. I used to piss myself laughing sometimes. Just the, the stupidity the stupidity of it all. But, um, yeah. So maybe that could be a New Year's resolution of sorts. I could do one, at least one, Effort Friday video. A proper Effort Friday video. At some point this year. I'm not saying I'm going to bring it back for loads and loads of videos because I can't promise that but I will promise yeah I'm gonna promise one video okay between now and the end of the year probably you know when the sun comes out and then go outside and, you know go mental but anyway never mind all that bullshit I'm going cheers have a good week it's better by you better than Black. Slumps get a eat. Thunder! 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 Oh! Hi, love. So, the shoot.